Awful. Rare footage exposed Zara had a physical fight with Meghan during a wedding. Who do you think you are? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's fairy tale wedding took place on May 19, 2018, at St. George's Chapel, Windsor. The special day was celebrated across the country as thousands lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the happy couple and thousands more watched the proceedings on the TVs. More than two years on from the nuptials, a celebrity biographer has detailed the reaction of several members of the royal family during the ceremony. Sean Smith, who has written biographies on um, Gary Barlow, J.K. Rowling, Tom Jones, and Kate Middleton, has dedicated his latest book, Meghan Misunderstood, to the Duchess of Sussex. The biography covers her fairy tale wedding to Prince Harry and even documented the priceless reaction of members of the royal family. Mr. Sean Smith wrote, When I had watched Harry and Meghan's wedding in May 2019, less than 18 months earlier, the most memorable elements for me were her mother Doria's quiet grace, the exquisite plane of um, Sally's shekel, um, Kane Marston, the kingdom choir singing Stand By Me, a cappella and the long, passionate sermon by the most reverend Michael Curry on the power of love. As he spoke, the reactions from the royal family that we were allowed to see were priceless. The biographer detailed the reactions of Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cambridge, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Queen. He described the royals as being fascinated, pompous and amused. Business Smith claimed Zara Tyndale, the eldest queen's granddaughter, had the best reaction out of all royals. He wrote, Prince Charles read and reread the order of service as if it was the latest fascinating issue of Count Country Life magazine. His wife Camilla and Kate Middleton were desperately trying not to make eye contact with each other. Prince Andrew looked as pompous as ever. Prince William opted a senior or superior smile. Princess Beatrice seemed to be on the verge of laughing out loud while best of all Zara Tinder appeared um, gobsmacked. The Queen had the familiar look of grim determination that was never going to waver. Zara was heavily pregnant with her second child Lena at the time of Meghan and Harry's wedding. She has previously said that her unborn baby had provided a lot of discomfort on the day. The royal told the Daily Graph, I was uncomfortable. My bum sh sort of slid over either side and Lena kicked the hell out of me for an hour. It just wasn't comfy at all and you know it probably showed me showed on my face. Zara also commented on the length of Bishop Michael Curry's speech during the ceremony which lasted 13 minutes. She said, it was just the general amount of time everything was taken. I think my face was probably caught the point when I thought, right, he's going to finish now and then he went off on another little story and it was like, Really? One month after the ceremony, Zara and husband Mike Tinder welcomed their second daughter, Lena, on June 18. Their eldest daughter, Maya, was born in January 17, 2014.